You are now watching The Lone Blown. Blown! Yo, what's poppin' peeps? You're back here at The Lone Blown, and today we're gonna be going over a deck profile on Combozation. Now, you might be like, yo, Zach, you actually did a profile on Combozation and a PTCGO playthrough. Well, quit being a know-it-all for one. <laughs> Just kidding. But in all, in all seriousness, uh, this is for the Atlas Pog 2020 Championships that we have coming up in August. At the time of this creation, that's two, three weeks away. So how are we going to work with this format that is Ultra Prism to Darkness Ablaze? Well, the best way that I've been finding to test is on Tabletop Simulator. So that's where I'm doing this deck profile. I mean, it's hard otherwise to find a way to lay out uh, kind of cards nicely to do a deck profile instead of just like creating the deck myself. I could do that, I've done that for post rotation, but now that we have Tabletop Simulator with some nice high res scans, this is how we're going to be doing it. So how does Combozation work? Well, let's go over the strategy in general. So we have right here, let me click there so that works. So the way that this works is Zation is a strong attacker. It has its attack, Brave Blade, that does 230 damage. Cool, that's awesome. So we can knock out most Pokemon. The Pokemon that we're going to be targeting are Pokemon that are worth two prize cards, such as Dedenne GX, Crobat V, and other Pokemon such as Scorch V, Eternatus V before they turn into a VMAX Pokemon. So that means we could draw two prize cards, but how do we end the game even quicker? Well, we can use Jiraji Prism Star with this Wish Upon a Star ability. If you took this Pokemon as a prize card, um, a face down prize card and your bench is in full you can put it down there and draw another prize card So this is one of the cards that's going to be rotating for post rotation But it's still available for play for this Atlas Pog tournament Which is our last weekend to play with all of our Ultra Prism to Celestial uh, Lost Thunder cards Jeez. So how do we get the Jirachi and the prize cards? Well, we use combination of Mr. Mon which can place the top card of our deck and we get Jirachi to the top card of the deck with a Ranguru. So we have our Wombo combo that allows us to place Jirachi on top of the deck. So you go Guru, put Mime on top of your deck. Um, Mime, put the Mime, put the Jirachi to your prize cards. Then you attack with Zacian. We can power up Zacian with Metal Saucer very quickly by attaching a Metal Energy from our discard pile to one of our bench metal Pokemon. And we can also use Turbo Patch to flip a coin and attach an energy to that Pokemon wherever we are. I only played three copies of that card right now, but I could quickly see us moving it up to four. And we also have cards that target our opponent's bench. Um, Pokemon that we might want to just knock out that are worth two prize cards, which would be worth three prize cards after Jirachi. We have a few copies of Boss Orders, and we have a copy of Great Catcher. So depending on what we're targeting, we're able to target our Pokemon. Our opponent's Pokemon and draw prize cards effectively. It's possible for us to win the game as quickly as the second turn, but being reasonable, our, our goal is just to outpace our opponent, draw more prize cards than them, and really um, kind of just up the pace of the game. We have Professor's Research and we have Marty because they are consistent in the combo to get things going. I mean, if we could play six Professor's Research or eight Professor's Research, we'd play that instead of Marnie. We don't really need the we don't need the effect to kind of ruin our opponent's hand or disrupt our opponent. Same thing with the Dene GX. We'd play another Dene GX or a Crobat V. The only issue is the Jirachi has to be on the bench with Wish Upon a Star, and that's really one of the most important things that we got to deal with. So I think that's really important. We have Acrobike to make the deck more consistent. Switches to get out of the side effects. Here, I'll show you there. Of uh, Brave Blade. So once during your next turn, this Pokemon can attack. So that really does allow us to get out of that position. Whether we're getting out of Jirachi as well. We just really want to get things set up here. Quick Balls to get Dark or er, Metal Energies in the discard pile. As well as just searching out our basic Pokemon. Scoop of Net is so that we can use the combo more than once. So once you put the Jirachi down on your bench and use Wish Upon a Star, you can use Scoop of Nets and kind of yeet it back to your hands 
and then use the combo again. That's why we have another copy of Mr. Mime, especially for things to get discarded. If we could play an extra copy of Jirachi Prism, we totally would. And when we have a skateboard for Jirachi, just to get out of the active spot, you could also put it on a Zacian V so that you could retreat it. That might work in some cases. And then we have enough metal energies just to make the deck work. Now, some problems that we might face when we're, when we're playing this deck could be Decidueye that's, that comes out in Darkness Ablaze. So Decidueye is going to stop V Pokemon from attacking, um, which means that our attacking Pokemon, we can't attack with Mr. Mime, we could attack with a Rangaroo, but 70 damage and 3 energies is not going to work out. Jirachi Prism Star is likely not going to work out, and doing Slap for 30 with Jirachi is not going to work out. So a way that we might want to kind of work on that is maybe adding in a single prize card non-v non-v max non-gx attacker duraludon might be okay i do have that in my zation adp list and that is enough it just won't get a knockout in post rot in pre-rotation because you're not comboing with adp and it's also it's only that matchup so what i'd recommend is this is a list that's based off of a non-existent meta or a meta that is only the Japanese Nationals top decks that we saw in early July. That being said, our format that I'm looking at exists of Senescorch V Max, Eternatus V Max, Baby Bulcephalon, Vikavolt V, and some control variants. This might do okay against control. I still need to test that a little bit more and Vikavolt. It's just can you are can we still use um, the combo and kind of get ahead of our opponent before they item lock us or before they ruin us. I mean, I think controls probably fine um, because they're not stopping us from playing items. Vigavolt might be difficult, although we can get one shots on Vigavolt as long as they don't use Cape of Toughness. It's also one of those other things of just like we want to make sure that Senescorch V and Eternatus V are both putting down Pokemon that are worth two prize cards that we can knock out with Brave Blade. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult matchups for us to overcome three prize card Pokemon that we have to two shot for four prize cards, then we have to bring up another Pokemon. So it's three attacking turns instead of two. Baby Blacephalon is also another deck that struggles a little bit, um, that we struggle a little bit against because they can knock us out fairly easily, and we have to use the Jirachi Prism uh, combo. Now, if they bench something like an Oracorio GX, the Dene GX, a lot of their GX and V Pokemon, we can quickly win the game by just taking two attacks and outpace our opponent, but that does mean we need to get the Jirachi combo set up twice. The turbo patches added into the deck will definitely help out with that, but it's one of those things that we just want to make sure that like this deck will work out in that format. But beyond all that, I still think that Combosation has a spot in the format. We didn't see it at Japanese Nationals, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to see it at the day one of the Atlas Pog Championships. So I would definitely give this deck a try out, especially if you're looking to explore the format a little bit more. My goals for this channel um, right now, I, I will be posting some deck profiles. If I could find some other players who are able to play on tabletop, they might be followed with a game gameplay video, or I might be streaming some gameplay at twitch.tv slash thelonebloun. But... It's one of those things where I think right now we just need deck profiles out there and the gameplay I could save for my Twitch. So I'll be making sure to have deck profiles. Be sure to check the description. This list is in there as well. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord server or post something in the comments below. And remember to stay, stay subscribed for what we got going on in the channel. There's a lot of... I, I post like three videos a day and usually my schedule goes... I post a new format video in the morning around noon eastern then i post a ptcgo playthrough video at 4 p.m eastern and then i post a video game playthrough video of some kind of pokemon game at least for now at around 8 p.m so if you're interested in pokemon in any capacity this is the place to be at i know i'm a new youtuber um on my own but I do have years of experience as being a YouTuber, so please be patient with me. Still learning a bunch of stuff, but I really appreciate y'all hanging out till this point of the video. Stay tuned to the next portion so you can hear me say subscribe again, and uh, there's some going to be videos, so follow those links if you want to continue to go down the rabbit hole of the Lone Blount YouTube channel. So this wraps up this deck profile. Give it a try. I think Combosation's cool. 
I it might be better than a lot of people think um, because it's definitely one of the best decks in our Ultra Prism to Rebel Clash format. So see how exactly how it goes for you. Let me know in the comments below. Have yourself a great day, peeps. Really hope that you enjoyed watching that video. I totally enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, share the video with everyone that you know, and subscribe to the channel as well. Totally appreciate all the support. We got a lot of cool things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the social links in the description. Thanks and have yourself a great one.